summer holiday No more working for a week or two Fun and laughter on our summer holiday No more worries for me or you For a week or two We're going where the sun shines brightly We're going where the sea is blue We've seen it in the movies Now let's see if it's true Everybody has a summer holiday Doing things they always wanted to So we're going on a summer holiday To make our dreams come true For me and you We're going where the sun shines brightly We're going where the sea is blue We've seen it in the movies Now let's see if it's true Everybody has a summer holiday Doing things they always wanted to So we're going on a summer holiday To make our dreams come true We're going where the sun shines brightly We're going where the sea is blue We've seen it in the movies Now let's see if it's true Everybody has a summer holiday Doing things they always wanted to So we're going on a summer holiday To make our dreams come true For me and you You learn how to book holidays and help people have their dream holidays. We do a lot of great work and help each other out. It's a good opportunity to learn how travel agencies work. Beat at Travel and Tourism is a small group so you get a lot of help. There are a lot of trips to go on like the Pleasant Beach, Blackpool Zoo and Nice Skating. There is a lot of work but it's worth it in the end. At college I'm planning on doing Travel and Tourism because I enjoy it and because I enjoy it I'm going to try my hardest. Travel and tourism is a fun and enjoyable subject. The teachers make sure you know what to do and if you're up to date. You get to go on plenty of trips and learn to work better in a group. The groups are small so you get lots of help and you can get on with everyone. In the assignments we get to plan holidays and act out role plays but the best thing of all is we can have a laugh. Do you have an inquiring mind? Do you like finding answers to past mysteries? Could you put a case forward for how and why a certain event happened? Well then, maybe you'll enjoy history at GCSE. As you may have guessed already from the images you've seen, history gives you a superb start for many careers, such as law and the police, as you have to examine evidence and draw conclusions from this. But history is a perfect subject for lots of careers, from journalism, management, teaching, acting, medicine, and the health service, to personnel, TV and media, the civil service, social services and even politics. Why is that? Well, you're dealing with people and problems, and there are lots of careers which need you to have people skills. Employers also look for workers who can examine things, who can organise themselves, who can present work clearly and objectively, supported by relevant information. All of these things are done in history lessons at GCSE. What's more, if you think you might go on to study in further or even higher education, history is an ideal subject to pick because it is really well looked upon by colleges and universities because of its high standards. 
So we know why history is useful, but what will it actually involve at GCSE? The first topic you'll look at is medicine from prehistoric times to the present day. You'll learn about what people in different periods believed caused disease, how they treated it, and where they went to get treatment. You'll have to do an exam on this. Did you know that if you had a headache in prehistoric times, this is what happened to you? Why? You'll have to find out next year. The second exam you'll prepare for is either Elizabethan England or Nazi Germany. That's right, you now have a choice of what to study for one of your history papers. In Elizabethan England we look at the story of Elizabeth I, who started off as a young woman in a man's world. We'll see how she coped with all of this, as well as looking at how she dealt with problems in her reign, like poverty, rebellion and invasion. We'll also learn what contributions seafarers and the theatre made to Elizabethan England. Of course, you could choose Nazi Germany instead. If you choose this, you'll learn what happened in Germany after World War I, why Hitler rose to power and what life was like for everyone under Hitler's leadership, from those in the Hitler Youth to women and men. You'll also look at how Hitler controlled Germany and how he dealt with those he didn't like, such as Jewish people. The last thing you'll be needing to work on is your coursework. This will be done in Year 10 and will involve a trip to Quarrybank Mill, a Victorian cotton mill in Cheshire. There will be three controlled assessments on this topic, but we'll help you with the preparation in lessons, so don't worry. OK, so what else do you need to bear in mind if you're thinking about history? You'll need to be self-disciplined and motivated. Your grade is 75% exam-based. That means you need to be prepared to revise hard from your notes and be fairly decent at exams. The other important thing is the fact that everyone will do the same paper. In other words, there's no higher or foundation paper with easier questions. This means that it might be tricky if you really struggle with exams. Finally, there'll be deadlines that you must meet for homeworks and courseworks. But most of all, you'll need to enjoy the subject and be interested in people and past events. Let's see why some of our students chose history last year. I took history because I enjoyed it at Key Stage 3 and wanted to take it further and also realised that it would be a very good academic subject on my CV. Um, I took history because it's, uh, it was an interesting subject in Key Stage 3 and I wanted to take it further. And it's recognised by colleges and universities and I find it quite fun as well. Has all of that convinced you? Well, if so, we'll look forward to teaching you next year. Wait, this isn't why we chose Ari. Me neither. You should take religious studies because it's good to show your employees that you're open-minded. You should take religious studies because you get to go on trips like the Buddhist temple in the lakes. I think you should take RS because it's all your own opinion and there are plenty of great trips. You should take RE because it's interesting, it's nice to learn new things and you don't have to be religious. I'm going to study A-level RE at sixth form. You should take RS because it's not as pressurised as other subjects. Because there's no coursework or controlled assessments. You should choose RS because you get to have your own say and don't get judged. You should take RS because in a small group you get extra help from the teacher. You should take RS because everybody passed last year and got 92% A star to C grades. You should take RS because it sets you up for careers in police work, social work and other jobs. I took RV because you get more than one religion. You should take RS because the topics are interesting and you get to say what you think.
colors of blue Shoots up through the stony ground There's no room No space to win in this town You're out of luck And the reason that you had to care The traffic is stuck Take you out of this place Someone you can lend a hand In return for grace It's a beautiful day Sky falls, you feel that It's a beautiful day To live it get away On the road But you got I chose geography because I really enjoy other topics we're studying such as volcanoes, earthquakes and tropical rainforests. It has enabled me to use skills such as evaluation and analysis and I really like the way we use up-to-date case studies to study real-life geography. I chose geography at GCSE because I really enjoyed the lessons and I hope to go to university. Geography is part of the English Baccalaureate which is a group of subjects that universities look favourably on. So getting a good grade in geography will help me to get to university. I chose geography at GCSE because I'd enjoyed what we'd learnt at GCSE and wanted to expand on it. I'm glad I took geography as the teachers do everything they can to help you achieve. I've enjoyed geography so much in the past five years that I plan on taking it at A level where they look at the similar things we've done at GCSE and look further into it. I'm Michael Payne and I do, I do really enjoy just standing here when there's all this world out there to discover. It's just fantastic. It's some new lives, new places, new things. Choose geography. For heaven's sake, it's the only subject. Ooh. Hi guys. I just wanted to say choose geography at Bispam High School. Why am I saying that? I'm saying that because geographers are hugely employable. They're great job opportunities, whether it's, you know, working using a geography or the huge huge range of skills that you learn through geography and it's they're one of the most sought after people in the in the job market so you know think about your choice it's a brilliant subject to study and you've got a fabulous department here in which to study it so choose geography go on